What's going on guys? Today, I'm headed out fishing with my friend Daniel. He's actually taking me fishing because we're going fly fishing today and I've never been fly fishing before in my life. There's world class brown trout fishing where we're going. Super excited. It's gonna be great. So we just stopped off at our first spot here. Oh yeah. Everything's looking beautiful. I don't know anything. Daniel knows all this stuff, so I'm just following him today. There's some fish rising up there. Let me see. I'll take your word for it. Here's a mayfly. That is exactly what the flies are imitating. That is crazy. Woo! There we go. Brown trout, beautiful. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous, dude. They are so strong. What pound test do you got on as the leader? Yeah, six pound test. Six pound leader on there. Hatch hasn't fully started, so he decided to eat the merger instead of the dry fly. Wouldn't have been able to hook that fish close to that dry fly. Oh shoot! There it goes. Oh, dang! Yeah, my friends, it's quick release. Come That's quick. <laughs> yeah. That was a beautiful fish, Boom. bro. That was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Very nice. So to me this is a little bit of a weird type of fishing because he won't go out and start fishing until he sees a trout rise to the surface and like slurp something on the surface then he goes and fishes for it. Um, and you know I'm just not used to that, not used to, you know, normally as a bass fisherman or whatever you go around and you, you, know, you just start casting, you work your way down a bank. You don't just sit and watch for several minutes waiting for a fish to come up before you make your first cast so it's kind of cool. There's a splash just right over there, or a surface, whatever you want to call them with trout. Oh man, you should have taken that. Oh, oh, that, dude, he was right by your fly. So we have this fish over here that keeps surfacing, but it is refusing to eat the double fly rig he's got on. So he's gonna switch to Ooh, something different. Did you see him? Yeah, I'm noticing that these mayflies have just a little bit different color than this, just this yellow. They have a little bit of black on their wings, so I'm gonna try to match the hatch the best I can. But they're starting to come off a little bit more now. Look at look at how tan that one is compared to the oh, yellow yeah. I'm using. So I'm gonna switch up to that, see if it, what, what happens, and I want to catch this fish. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
all kinds of crazy right. stuff. So we're sitting here talking about girls. Fishing is slow. And, uh, and then all of a sudden something rose up from the bushes behind me, crashed through. The first thing I'm thinking is something's coming at me, not running away. But it must have been a deer laying down and it just decided to stand up. And then Daniel... Dude, that trout, there's a trout right in front of you that just... <laughs> was it a brown or was it a rainbow? I don't know. I was looking through the camera lens. but then, And then Daniel just got a bite. So it's... Gosh, that so thing came up as soon as my fly landed. He used to put his mouth right around it. That is a big fish over there. That, that is there. a big fish. I've been working on him for, what, 45 minutes? Yep. Half catch that fish. Gotta get, catch it. Now you're committed. After working on a fish for 45 minutes, you got to. You can't like quit. There's like a point of no return. A time lapse throughout the night here. <laughs> Next day. Yeah. Got him? Finally. I have worked on that fish for way too freaking long. It's been like a 50 minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I want to go home. <laughs> that. I don't even know, dude. So he worked on this huge brown trout over here. I'm gonna punch it. for like 50 minutes. I actually sat down at one point, turned off the camera, ate something, literally came back and kept filming. And then the fish gets off. Oh! Oh, nice. Is that a rainbow? That's a rainbow, dude. That's a big rainbow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even paying attention on that one. That's a pretty good rainbow, man. That is a good rainbow. What the? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. Why? Do you have a hook in that fly? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna check really quick. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's running right at me. I can't even get him. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Uh oh. Alright. Back to business. Beautiful fish, Asa. Oh. Think I can land this one? <laughs> I don't know. Want me to land him? <laughs> Here, Seriously. quick, take the rod. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fly fisherman, but that seems like a really good trout to me. Yeah, it's decent. I'm not going to complain about it at all. But I the mean, standards any trout are. You catch while fly fishing is just amazing. But the standards for this place are so high. He's going to run on me. just barely on the tip of his nose. <laughs> gonna give me a run for my money today. Nice! <laughs> oh, that's Look fantastic. Wow. Look at that. that. Look at where he's hooked. Just barely on the tip of his nose right there. Look at the size of the fly versus the size of that fish. That's amazing. Isn't that incredible? Jeez. And just like Comes that, right out. Right out. <laughs> that is so cool. That is beautiful. Look at him. Cool, dude. That's so cool. Well guys, got a couple fish to bite at this spot, but uh, it's been tough. There's the, the mayflies are everywhere out here, but they will, uh, the trash just, trout just are not biting that well. So we're gonna try another spot by a bridge and I might even try fly fishing for the first time here. So we'll see. You always wanna make sure your 
mindful of what's behind you. Okay, yeah, that makes Sometimes. sense. Yeah, I'll uh, probably mess this up real bad right but at first. It's, it's honestly whatever feels the best for you. Okay. Um, and you'll figure out the thing that you flip around. Go for it. I'll sit here and fiddle around. All right, guys, it's my first time fly fishing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Less than a minute into fly fishing, I catch a tree. I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh, caught the tree again. It's a rainbow. There are no stock trout in here, right? Um, it's 100% A lot of these wild. actually are stock trout because oh. they came down from the 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 lake. But I think this one's this one's a native. Beautiful. Look at how stocky he is. He is stocky. There's a lot of fish right here, Ace. <laughs> Get out. Nice. Cool. There's a doe in the water. Just right down there. She's eating on a Russian olive. On the dry? Is it a good one? Just like that, they pop off. Oh, does that happen all the time? You know, I think it's just because your camera's in here. <laughs> oh, because my camera's are on. <laughs> yep. No, they, they pop off every now and then, but I've lost more fish today than I have in a long time. Mm. Well guys, great first half of our day there. The trout fishing was quite slow. It was. Um, there were tr trout jumping everywhere, um, but got a few to bite. Uh, got that nice brown to bite. So I had a great time. I know that he's a little bit spoiled, so only catching you know four or five trout uh, wasn't wasn't any big deal to him. But uh, I thought it was really cool, and I got to try fly fishing for the first time. But now we're gonna go above the dam uh, to the reservoir that feeds this river that we were just fishing at. We're going to play around up there because there are largemouth, smallmouth, catfish, and crappie up there. And we're just going to see what happens. We might even cook up some fish. So. Found the back of this little cove here, and I've got a spook on. That is Super Spook Junior. And then you're throwing a little craw, Texas rig. Is that, I think that's Texas rig craw. Yeah, hey, we're just gonna play around here. There's a fish right there. That could have been a carp. Oh. We just sitting there. Play around here, see what happens. Daniel, we were just talking about where we were going to go next, to a different spot. And he catches a little largemouth on a sinko. Not keeping size, but. Uh, what? Got one. Uh, oh, it's a tiny tyke. It's a tiny tyke. Is this guy catfish bait? If it were legal. Got him? Yeah. Good one. Oh, that might be a keeper. <gasps> oh, he oh, there's the Cinco. As long as he... Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that is... Oh, sweet victory! Oh, that's gonna be close. I, I think so, though. Let me get my measuring tape out. Oh, that's hope. Sweet victory! <laughs> yes! I'll put him, I'll get the stringer. This is that stringer that you guys saw in the last video, paracord. And it has these sweet clips on it. 
I'll put a link to it in the description. It is my favorite stringer ever. That is awesome. Sweet, dude. Now we got something to eat. Let's get another one. We've oh, each we time. I was getting hungry. I, I know. <laughs> you got another one? Is it a keeper? Oh, he got another keeper. Sweet. I kind of wanted to catch one. Hey, put him on the stringer. I'm gonna try this point real quick. So we'll have some largemouth to cook up. I'm starving. Oh, oh my gosh, that was a huge, dude, I just had a huge blow up. Massive, massive. I'm not even joking you. It was like a toilet bowl flush. Whoa, got him. Yeah, got him. He just saw, oh dude, it's a good one. Oh, it's a big smallie. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a fat smallie. Look at that. <laughs> On that top water. Dude, he just crushed it. I actually thought like it was a four pounder or something, like the way he hit it. It's still a nice fish though. I think so. Just ate that top water head first. Oh man, that is so fun. Right on that point. You got a whole school. Daniel has a whole school like fired up right here. That's like the sixth one you've caught. <laughs> that one needs a band -aid. <laughs> That one needs a band -aid. Dude, he ate it head first. He did. Look at the gut on him. Probably full of crawfish. Boys, that's the biggest smallmouth of the day. It's fat. Look how fat that puppy is. Full of, uh, it'll be interesting to, to cut it open and see what it's full of. It's it's uh, September, so they're not definitely not spawning, so it must be full of, uh, I don't know, what what, would they, what do they eat here? I don't know, I haven't fished this crawfish. reservoir enough. I don't see any a bunch of crawfish tentacle hanging out. It'll be interesting. It, it may have one big thing. It may have like a big fish in its stomach or something too, so that'll be really cool to see. All right, we're going to put the smallmouth. I have to leave the top water in because it is not coming out, and I, I have pliers back of the truck, and then we're going to cull one of these little largemouth here. The smallest one. I think it's the top one. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful smallie. I'm just gonna do a simple gut. Cut the head off. Oh my gosh, I think. Well, let's see, there's something big in this gut. Sure, dude, check check out that perch. There's like a there's a baby perch inside the stomach. Uh huh. Check out that perch. That's like a four. It's like a four inch perch. That is crazy. That that's why that smallest is so fat. Oh, and crawfish. Look, there's a crawfish claw. That is so crazy. There we go. Got that. Got my popper out of it. Now I'll just throw this out there for all the catfish. Daniel said he saw a catfish earlier swimming around, so. And there we go. We're gonna have fresh smallmouth. It's just minutes from catching to cooking. Nice little largemouth. Oh, this is gonna be tasty. Largemouth and smallmouth. And we'll throw this old perch out. Out for the catfish. heats up quickly. Oh yeah. Dude, this is what living is I all know. about. A day of fishing. And now pick up day's day's dinner over a fire. 
All right, so we're gonna cook these fish. We have butter in this, it's all melted. And then I have salt and pepper, and then Mrs. Dash's lemon pepper seasoning, which is the bomb for any kind of fish. And that's the, in, uh, the seasoning for our fish today. And I think that should be hot enough to put the fish on. It's cooking off a little smallmouth. It's been a while since I've eaten smallmouth, actually. We'll add a little salt to it right now. And we don't add the Mrs. Dashes until um, until later. Otherwise, it just like burns the Mrs. Dashes seasoning, I found out. But we can add the salt right now to it. Add a little inside the fish. Sweet. Let me add a little Mrs. Dashes to this real quick. Woo! Our sticks really flared up. Well guys, there is finished smallmouth right there. It's a little bit dark. You guys can't really see it. But we both ate most of it out of the pan already. And it is delicious. So now we're just gonna put the large mouth on. Shout out to the outdoorsman. Thanks dude for always commenting, liking, and you're one of my first subscribers. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description if you guys want to check it out. He makes some outdoor videos just like I do. So check him out. Thanks man. Well guys, a day of trout fishing. Daniel, thanks for coming out here. Oh, absolutely. Day of trout fishing. End it with some bass fishing and then fresh bass over the fire it tastes amazing. Oh, it Here's does. Here's the fork. Oh, thank you. You want the fork? Thank you. This I'll is living right talk. here. Mrs. Dash just makes everything better. Oh. I'm telling you guys, mm. when you catch a fish and it's just like a few minutes later you cook it up over a fire, it is amazing. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> we almost got <laughs> blinded right there. Oh, take uh, a bite of that. Lord, that is to die for. I don't know what you think. Good what? grief! What the, <laughs> the heck? Did that rock just blow up? <laughs> That's what it's <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I don't even care. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one. All right. Jeez. <laughs>